Good day, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. Today is August 23rd, Sunday of the 21st week in Ordinary Time. The Gospel said, I will give you the keys to the Kingdom of Heaven. Let's have a listen and reflect on it after. But first, The first reading is from the book of Isaiah. Thus says the Lord to Shebna, master of the palace. I will thrust you from your office, and pull you down from your station. On that day I will summon my servant, Eliakim, son of Hilkiah. I will clothe him with your robe, and gird him with your sash, and give over to him your authority. He shall be a father to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and to the house of Judah. I will place the key of the house of David on Eliakim's shoulder. When he opens, no one shall shut. When he shuts, no one shall open. I will fix him like a peg in a sure spot, to be a place of honor for his family. Responsorial Psalm Lord, your love is eternal. Do not forsake the work of your hands. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart. For you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple. Lord, your love is eternal. Do not forsake the work of your hands. I will give thanks to your name because of your kindness and your truth. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Lord, your love is eternal, do not forsake the work of your hands. The Lord is exalted, yet the lowly he sees, and the proud he knows from afar. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands, Lord, your love is eternal, do not forsake the work of your hands. The second reading is from the letter to the Romans. Oh, the depth of the riches and wisdom and knowledge of God! How inscrutable are his judgments and how unsearchable his ways! For who has known the mind of the Lord? Or who has been his counselor? Or who has given the Lord anything? That he may be repaid? For from him and through him and for him are all things. To him be glory forever. Amen. Alleluia, Alleluia. You are Peter and upon this rock I will build my church. And the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel According to Matthew Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi and he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah. Still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon son of Jonah. For flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Then he strictly ordered his disciples to tell no one that he was the Christ. Reflection We cannot know Jesus if we measure that knowledge with how we live our lives. Genuine knowledge of Jesus comes most effective to those whose minds are open to the Spirit. Jesus promised to build his church on the sturdy basis of Peter's religion. Our religion dispenses the mysteries of the kingdom in line with God's plan. 
Have you ever wondered what you'll do if you have been given the opportunity to be with God, even for a while? If He gives you a chance, bestows His power over you, what will you do? Whoever has been given such obligations must pray that they be given the strength to foresee the work. As Jesus advised Peter, the mysteries of the dominion of God aren't matters referring to flesh and blood, but of the Spirit. That's the end of my reflection. If you'd like a daily dose of the word of the Lord, subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell, so you won't miss out on such, and other related uploads, like novenas and prayers. Be safe and always keep God in your hearts. Peace to all.